What's that? I think this is a lime. Looks like some piece, a piece of lime. You're right. It's lime. It's wet. Um, squidgy. It's really bitter. This is very sour. Uh-oh. I don't really like it. Oh, dear. I think it will taste different when it's cooked in something. Everyone's not sure about the taste of lime. Can Marina change their minds? Because it's one of the ingredients in Marina's enchiladas. As well as lime, you'll need dried oregano, mild chilli powder, garlic puree, passata, runny honey, cooked chicken breasts, tortilla wraps, smoked paprika, washed and drained tinned black beans, and mature cheddar cheese. First, I'm going to add some tomatoes into my beans. This is passata, a sauce made from tomatoes. I'm going to add some honey. Oh, lovely runny honey. Oh, oh. After that, time to add my spices. That's mild chilli powder, dried oregano, and smoked paprika. Give it a good mix, but be careful not to get any spices in your eyes. That could be a bit painful. Mm. Now, add the garlic puree and give it another mix. Next, I'm going to get my chicken from the fridge. Marina's dad has already cooked it for her. Add the chicken to the bean mixture and then mix it really well. Here we go to my favourite part, grating the cheese. I love this part because you get to use your muscle. <laughs> Clean out the rest of the cheese with a spoon or fork. Oh, you'll need that in a moment. Add some passata to the bottom of an oiled cooking dish. Most of my dad's family live in Mexico and my favourite Mexican food to eat is quesadillas because they have a melted cheese, a melted cheese is my favourite. Make sure you spread the passata all around the dish. Time to use my tortillas. Just spoon some passata onto each one, like Marina. Followed by the chicken and bean mixture. Put it in a straight line because it will make it easier to fold. Now add your grated cheese and do the same to the others. Ah, they look perfect. <laughs>